Hey, what's up y'all? It's Cane Pole Willie. We're back with another video in the How to Make a Cane Pole series. This one today is all about the bamboo straightening tool. This is a real simple, real clever tool you can make out of wood yourself. And you can't really buy these, so that's really your only option. But today we're about to talk about them. I'm going to show you how I made this one. goal when carving out the notch here is going to be to make a nice gentle slope on this side that matches the gentle slope on this side to where our bamboo fits in and is getting evenly braced on both sides and there's no pressure points or no spots where you could press into the bamboo. This hand is going to be pushing pressure inward and we're going to lock the bamboo right here and it's going to bend right here on the bamboo shaft where it's been heated. So you can work it up and down, moving your tool. Here's a closer look at the notch we're about to carve. So you can take a look at the shape and get a good idea of what we're going for here. And we're going to make sure it has a curve to match the roundness of the bamboo. But we're going to make this happen mainly with the sanding bit of the Dremel. We're going to need some protective gear, so I got some gloves and some eyewear. We're going to use this drill to help get into this wood, since it is a very hard wood and very dense for carving. But this is the pole we're going to use. It's three quarters of an inch by inch and a half. We're going to cut it in half. I'm not sure exactly what this wood was. I've forgotten, but I was Googling them all at Lowe's, and this was the hardest one they had. I've also got a couple different grits of sandpaper to help us fine tune it, but I'm about to run a time lapse. We're going to talk a little bit more about the process of making and also some facts about the bamboo straightener and different information I've picked up along the way. One thing to note is I am left handed, so if you are right handed, you're going to actually want this to be in reverse and in the other direction. So basically what I'm doing, but just mirrored. The old timers will tell you the best way to straighten bamboo is to leave it hanging while weighted and let it cure out for a couple months. But I don't have a good spot to do that where it's out of the sun and won't crack while it dries. So that's what kind of drew me to the straightening tool. And I found out about it from the Japanese rod makers. They've got quite a few videos on YouTube about that and also arrow shaft makers but i hadn't actually seen an explanation or video about how to make one you can find only a couple pictures online but basically i saw the concept and made a couple different prototypes and finally figured out the flow simply put we're just creating an angled notch that's going to grip onto the bamboo and allow us to crank it over native americans use more primitive versions of this tool made out of stone to straighten arrow shafts and here's a few pictures of the tools that the Japanese bamboo rod makers use. This tool just allows you to take the process of straightening a piece of bamboo into your own hands and go section by section, straightening it out inch by inch. It makes me wonder how the commercially available poles get straightened out, whether it's the loose vintage ones you see on eBay or the B&M modern ones. I'm not sure. All right, here's a kind of roughed out what I think we're going to have. And this one's actually... A good bit smaller than the opening I got in the other one. I'm going to use that one for the base where it's thicker and more stubborn. But I wanted one for closer to the tip where the bamboo gets a little bit narrower. Now, this is actually looking really good. I'm going to smooth it out with some sandpaper. Take a little bit more off this edge. But that is it y'all. There's not much to it. Keep a piece of bamboo on you and constantly be checking as you're shaving down and just check to see how it's getting cradled in there. As you can see, it's a little bit loose right there. I'm going to trim the back side so it sits a little bit lower, but 
Just be working it, kind of feeling how it sits and seeing how it's cradled. There we have it, a finished bamboo straightening tool. I shaved the edges off the backside here for a more comfortable grip and just use the fixed width of that Dremel sander to bore out a nice, clean, round notch. Now I'm super happy with the way this one turned out. And that's going to conclude it, y'all. This is the last video of the Cane Pole Instructional videos. And we're finally finished. Only thing left to do now is to get these poles out there and catch some fish. Man, it's warming up here. We've done enough talking. Time to get back to the fishing videos. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.